Hi. So I want to talk about something cool that um that I wish I could like have a TED talk about that I want to compile information about to help communicate to people what idea I've been generating in my head. So philosophy and attitude. Now when I research into philosophy, or when I look into what philosophy means, all those sorts of things, um, I feel like it, you know, it undermine. It, it, I feel like there might be some, some kind of undermining going on, or I may have made a, a connection that I don't think the many people have made the connection with because I don't know. I haven't heard that much about it, but um. Um, after listening to a talk, or a few talks, from um, my favorite, one of my favorite musicians, Andrew W.K., he, um, he said something really interesting one time when he was doing a, um, a speech or, you know, one of, the, one of his talks, and he said, uh, I'm not here to speak religious dogma, and I'm not here to give you a type of philosophy or guidelines to live your life by. But I'm here to give you an idea for an attitude, a type of attitude that you should approach life to, like using this type of attitude. And um, and that suddenly, you know, sort of made a big connection, you know, with me. So it made me wonder, how close are the two phrases, philosophy and attitude? Now. When you start picking those two fra- like two words apart, it's really interesting. So, philosophy obviously is sort of what makes up your beliefs, or um, you know, like what what you think and why you think uh, things are the way they are, you know, or um, or why you think you're going to do something or why you will do something for what reason, and um, you know, those sorts of things. Um, now. An attitude is how you approach things, you know, so how close is your attitude to your philosophy? You know, how, what is the attitude you behold within you that you feel like could help your philosophy? Or vice versa, you know, like, well, you're at the, like, how close is your attitudes, like, is your feeling to what you say is what you believe in and how and how does that affect your attitude in the first place like uh, does your philosophy affect your attitude to other people and to the outside world and if it does is that the right type of philosophy you want to be having and like you know like type of philosophy you want to be having if it causes you to have a bad attitude you know what what causes you to feel better you know with your type of philosophy and with your philosophy, it drives the type of attitude you believe is the right kind. Because on, honestly, you know, um, the right type of attitude that we should have is an optimistic one. Like a way, not even just optimistic, but a way that's, you know, comforting. Like something that's not forceful, because there's obviously the private prejudice of religious organizations and uh, that can cause people to be the worst type of philosophy there is, which is the philosophy that they will believe that they are the ones who are in the right and everyone else is in the wrong. For example, though, the hilarious, from the hilarious movie Borat, Kazakhstan is the greatest country in the world. All of the countries are run by little girls. <laughs> That, that that's exactly wrong it's hilarious but it's exactly wrong so that's an interesting thing to think about the attitude and philosophy I can talk about that all day long so have that good attitude feel that feel that philosophy that gives you the good attitude and you have a good day <laughs>